Wednesday night, Wednesday night rugby league rolls on live from North Harbour Stadium here on Sky Sports Select and also the Auckland Rugby League's YouTube channel. It is week seven of the Women's Premiership in the Auckland Rugby League and we have the defending champions, the Manurewa Marlins, up against the Howick Hornets who will be looking to try and bring some goodness back to Howick after their men's team got beaten 25-16 by Papakura Seagulls about five minutes ago in an entertaining first game of this Wednesday night league doubleheader. Players won't be too far away, so let's just take a look at the teams and how they shape up. First of all, we look at the competition points that you can see how it's sitting there on nine points and Mano Rewa defending champion struggling somewhat sitting in position six on four points so a lot to play for and in many ways as we saw the other no the earlier game uh, positions mean nothing let's take a look at the defending champions and what their lineup looks like a couple of silver uh, kiwi ferns in there Turu Arakura coming back from a an injury in the Tonga test. We've also got Crystal Stowers there in the in the three jersey. Also look out uh, in the 10 jersey, Elena Onesi on debut. Elena Onesi on debut. They're coached by a man who's been around the game a long time. One of the good guys running, Rusty Matua. That's the Manu Rewa Marlins in P6 on the points table. The Howard Hornets have had some changes. And just, it's worth noting, uh, they are... Without uh, Tefito Laifeli, who's gone off to the NRLW, and also John Sal Totari tonight. So Cassie Ormsby takes the place of Liso Rua at fullback. Jess Marnie, a Cook Islands rep, comes into that wing position. Keep an eye out, too, for Sapphire Abraham. 48 points so far this season. Uh, seven tries, ten conversions. And Sam Curtis, not Taylor Curtis, the twin sister, plays on the wing this evening. But the, the big talking point will be your number nine, your hooker, Zaid Sarah Borden. A double last week, two tries and a player of the match in their draw against Mal Albert, which was a 26-all draw, while the Manurewa Marlins uh, were beaten by the Leopards 28-16. Uh, so a lot to play for tonight. And the kids are out too, which is great to see. Got to their flags, the Hornet flags, they got the Manurewa Marlin flags. And Charlotte Scanlon joins me right now. Uh, a lot of talent on show again tonight. There is a lot of talent. Just sprinklings of Kiwi ferns there. Uh, Toru Arako. Like, I am extremely excited to see her play. She is a weapon for the Kiwi ferns. She's been a weapon for the Manurewa Marlins for years. What was the exact injury that uh, Toru, Toru suffered in that uh, Tonga test? Uh, she snapped her Achilles. Ouch. Ouch. That'll do it. Yeah. So there are the Howick Hornets. Quite a number of changes. Keep your eye, too, on 13, Chantel Woodman. Really has her hand on the ball a lot of the game and very influential. Very influential. And it just shows her experience. I've really enjoyed watching Howard Hornets this year, the way that they're starting to move the ball. At the union converts starting to understand the game a little bit more. As you can see on the screen right there, we've got Rex Anderson, who is another ex-Warrior player, Beautiful player, very silky with her ball skills. She'll be one to watch today. Brent Newton, Corey Jewell and uh, Lao Pauvale are in charge. Smiles already all round from the referee. That's a good sign. Manu Rewa will run left to right, as you can see it, and will kick off. Michaela Ile with the ball. Just come back from, uh, what, the Rabbitohs and the Harvey Norman Cup, is that right? Correct. She's another one that is just a really big talent within the women's space. She's got a nice kicking game. Oh, really? She's got some good skills. Time to run! And we are underway. Week 7 of the Women's Premiership in the Auckland Rugby League. And it will be Howick with first use of the ball. So it's game two of our Wednesday Night League double earlier this evening. Papakura, the Seagulls, beat up the Howard Hornets 25-16. They made a slow start but really got their game together. And this is a strong carry from Barbara Ulvar. Looking for the quick play. Early high shot. Intentions meant. We just saw this in the men's game. <laughs> I, think, well, I think that was you saying... 
drop a shoulder, wasn't it? <laughs> throw a shoulder. Charlotte Scanlon, this nice, quietly spoken Wait, girl, wanted to throw a shoulder. And trust me, these women, they know how to drop a shoulder. Oh, we have seen it in Wednesday Night League, and it is a pleasure to watch. No shortage of big hits here. Tiana Kavir. Woodman. Going to move it. They want to move it. And they, yeah, this is Cassie Ormsby. Kennedy, twice behind the same player. Oh. You'd have to say the old basic mistake, running behind your own player this early in the set. Yeah. yeah. I, I do think that's a tough call, as the defense weren't really pressing up to kind of make a, make a statement there. Um, it could have easy, easily enough been a surrender. Mano Rewa ball. No! Hold, hold, go on. Keep going! Oh, there we go. Toto yeah. straight away with an offload, making an impact. Idaho Stowers gets the ball out, goes behind her own player. They're not afraid just to get back into it. Defense is up, though. Including Jess Marty in the two shirt for Howard, the Cook Islands rep. Tango Loa. Keep going. Nice hit and spin by Crystal Stowers. Manorewa are spinning and running at pace. Michaela Ele gets the ball away while in the tackle. Finds Idaho Stars. Oh, now off the leg, Judy. Make me here. That's Toto Arakura. Not bad, player. Not bad. Ball goes behind. Rax Anderson has to pick it up. They are being given plenty of room to move by the Howard Hornets. Almost play, doing what they want at will. Play the ball, play the ball, make me. Very similar oh, to how the men the played the previous game with wanting to move the ball wide to wide. And Crystal oh, Stars, uh, Crystal Rota on the sideline, oh, knows him there. She wasn't going to watch it on the telly. She's on the sideline. It's just a couple of minutes on the motorway, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Rex Anderson. Yes. There's Crystal standing after getting the body out of a knee. And we're happy about that. Toto Arakura is having a big defense already. Looking close. Good defense. Number 10, not square. Not square being called by the referee. Yes, that whistle's the already starting to sort of make noises in my head. On your tap. Oh, go. Vinny Repia. Held up well by Sapphire, Abraham, and Go Co. Up. Swing it wide through Rex Anderson. Little short ball. This looks good. Hold this up. looks strong. Does she get it down? Amira Tiringa. Hold up, lady. Go out to the 10, please. No, no, you hold up and go. Out to the 10. Yeah. Maria Tiringa goes close. That's two. Go two. Manorewa ball. They like the short, flat oh, ball. This is Benny Repia playing oh, at five out from Manorewa. They still go left. Arakura is killing it. Absolutely here, killing lady. it for Manorewa at the moment. You're gonna have a scrum? She's, they're allowing her to get the ball out very quickly. Here she is here. How skillful this is. Look at that. It just, it just comes off uh, Mary Jane Finau. Probably wasn't ready for it. This was the, the close call by Amaria Teeringa. Yeah, I think as the second row running outside, someone like Toru, Mary Jane needs to have her hands up ready for the ball at all times. So Howick ball. Now it's just worth noticing that Howick wearing black armbands. You can see there on the, the left arm, the black armbands are... Uh, 
a hearty supporter of the Howard Corners, passed away. And our, we all send our condolences on behalf of the rugby league community to the Dave Hughes family. And so they are showing their support for the Hughes family by wearing black armbands tonight. Love this footy to Dave. Ball goes out wide, picked up nicely now by Jess Manny. Can she go all the way? Covers coming across. What's she got? Strong D by Manorewa. And then she loses the ball on the play. The little things, the little things make all the difference. Not telling you anything you don't know. <laughs> How often do you see that from a player that's made a really good break and then just the player of the ball just loses that concentration? Good strong tackle by Molly Tangaloa. Didn't look supremely confident okay, getting around her, to be fair, oh, but still. The simple oh, yeah. error is the killer. Manu Rewa ball oh. already. We've seen Toru Arakua, the Kiwi ah. Fern, yep. killing it. Nice set play. Ball's gone forward and picked up by goes. Sam Curtis. And Sam Curtis will go all the way. Oh, now, if you think it's Taylor Curtis, yes. you're wrong. It's a twin sister. Because I've said, has Taylor changed her name? No, she hasn't. That's Sam Curtis, and out of the blue. Howick score. Are you sure that's not Taylor Curtis? That's, <laughs> I'm, it's I'm Sam Curtis. Sure. My word, are they identical? They are identical twins. That's scary. But what a play. It was. Watch closely. It was looked like a really nice set play going on. It's this pass here that just went behind, and Curtis was quick to get there and just... Straight away, goes in the corner, and Howick have got the first try on the board. I think it's that cliche saying of you've got to earn the right before you go wide. Trying to, trying to throw those backdoor passes, a double backdoor, in fact, to then inside your own 30. I suppose I could say 100%. <laughs> Isn't that what you say now? It's 100%, Charlotte. 100%. <laughs> And every senior player in that, out, oh, in that Manudewa team will be saying exactly the same thing. Don't throw it around so early. Earn that right. Sapphire Abraham has had a stellar season so far. 48 points scored. Seven tries, 10 conversions. Can she add another? Plays as a hooker in rugby union, so it's really interesting her actually coming out into the centres. She seems to be enjoying the, the space though. Strikes it well, but it's going to be dragged left. So we don't get the extra two points for Howard, but we do get Sam Curtis scoring the first try for the, the Hornets. And they lead Manu Rewa in this week seven showdown of the Women's Premiership in the Auckland Rugby League by 4-0. Tell you what, Taylor Curtis will be filthy. <laughs> Played a couple of games on, on the telly, hasn't scored. Sister gets on the telly, straight away scores. Nine minutes in, scores. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> rub, rub it in just a bit further. <laughs> Only took me nine minutes, sis. What do you got? <laughs> so Manorawa, back at halfway to restart this showdown. Just a reminder, next Wednesday night... The 6 o'clock game Come in Wednesday Night League will be a Fox game between Monaco and Richmond. And the women's game at 8 will be Otahuhu against Mount Albert. Sarah Borden with the ball. Keep your eye on her. She'll work her way into the game. Move quickly! Here, mate, mate. Oh, you're good. Charlotte Davis with a nice flat Stay ball to Bola Ovar. Oh. James Sarah, the coach, That's watching really on. Be happy with that start considering Manu Rewa had keep all going, the ball going. in the first three or four minutes and, and we're looking really Get strong me. on the back Get of your mate, uh, Toro oh. Arakua. Yeah, she, 
I knew she would come on and be damaging. I hope she can last some long minutes for today. Oh, she was great support, mate. <laughs> She'd love it. <laughs> nice little kick through. Picked up by Molly Tangaloa. Puts a little bit of a goose step on there. Unafraid to take it to the line. Tangaloa plays the ball. Keep going. This is Peaches Peters. Move now, Thirty. Make me here, Howard. Hold. Go to. Tumbler again Keep gets the ball away. Idaho Stars walks straight into Tiana Kavir. Here's Toru. Last movement now. Weapon, Go you are on. right. Tura Arakua is a weapon. That's fine, take you on. Idaho Stowers goes high and kicks out. So it's a bit of a nothing play That's on the fine. fifth, wasn't it? Yeah. You. you would want your kicks to be a bit more damaging than, than that this early on in the game and chasing the game. Talk to me about Tura Arakua. Strength we know lies in her carry, but her ability to offload in the carry. Yeah. She's, she's been around for a really long time and she's still young enough coming back from an injury she's already showing how damaging she is just with her skill set and her knowledge of the game Chantel Woodman Chantel Woodman almost got through still going Chantel Woodman through the dummy but not enough picked up by Amelia uh, Tia Ringa play the ball go Sarah Borden with the Get carry. They will have to keep an eye on her. She has been oh, strong every match we've ball. seen on Wednesday Night One League. Woodman. 16, Here comes the kick from Charlotte Davis. No, she doesn't. Go. She goes wide. Finds Jess Marnie. Fifth and last oh. for the Howard Hornets. Davis. Looks up and kicks. What's the chase like? Well, there's no chase really. That ball's going to go dead. Seven tackle set coming up for the Mano Arewa Marlins. So both sides. Execution on the fifth. We've talked about this before, you and I. We have talked about this. It's something that within our women's game that we need to make sure that we keep improving on. The biggest concerning factor for me is that kick chase. We want to make sure this early on in the game that we're putting in those effort areas. Ikitule with the ball. Toru Arakur again, strong carry. Good shot though by Broba Ovar from the blind side. They're still going. Spinny Repia. Oh! 19 is Jodice Josephs. Crystal Stowers still going. Oh, ball dropped. So the pass from Rex Anderson that went loose. And Sapphire Abraham says, well, if you're going to tackle me, tackle me. Good pressure on Baldwin. This is Meli Futumawala. The cries, oh, gee whiz. That did look forward. It was a mile forward. The referee picked it up very quickly. So again, unforced errors in the own line. This is the ball here. Just By us, the captain, you did not come, you're not the captain. Number eight, come to the captain. Josie Josephs, and there's the forward pass. Couldn't get any more forward I than that. I called for the captain to do the toss of the coin. You came. I was out there while all the warm-ups were doing. I called for the captain. She came. She did not say there was any other captain. That's cool. Done. Chantal Woodman having words with the ref. And still having words from the, from the back of the scrum. That side, please. Hockers over top. Heads in. Heads in. 
Marlins. Marlins ball. Oh. Well inside. Keep going, keep going. Hornet territory, loose pass. Jodice Josephs Two. plays the ball. Oh. 30 out from the Hornets line. Oh, Woodman's giving it to her. She's giving it cropping plenty. This is Mary Jane Fina with the Hands ball now. now. Arakua still going, little skip and still going to Arakua. Zero, touch, zero, keep Zero tackle, ball touched away, come here, come the Marlins, looking left. Four, ten now, and zero. Hold, go, Moon now, 16. Go on. Josephs. Goes wide, finds Arakua. She's looking to offload, can't oh! do it. Marlins, blue and yellow wall is up. They get the ball away, but it's a loose carry. And Charlotte Davis picks it up. Oh, just Marnie gets a good clout, and this is just the loose pass. No, 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 Charlotte no, no. Davis picks no, it up. Just Marnie feeling no it, gets up, okay, shakes already. it off. So I do believe that was on the third tackle as well. So they just need to settle down, find a little bit more structure. I think they're trying to offload a little bit too much, Manurewa. Platinum Masters with a big left shoe. Gets the ball well into territory. There's Toru Arakura. Has been impressive in her stint so far for the Manurewa Marlins. Coming back from an Arkley's injury is one of the toughest ones to come back for. You can always be a bit nervous about that. 19 off the ball. Hold. Baldwin. Hey, hands off with me here. Make a line. Baldwin. She finds Woodman. Hey, hey. With me, we want. Hold, hold, go three. Masters. This is to a fight or no. Here we are. Go four. Step, step, step. Baldwin yeah. goes left, finds a gap. Oh, Still strong now. They're inside the 10, Howard. Can they score again? Oh. That was a horrible play. That was a horrible play. The ball. Oh. Yeah, just these uncharacteristic errors for creeping into both sides, I would say, in this game. Hopefully we see them both start to settle down and find a nice rhythm to kind of open up the scoring a little bit more. Hey, good lady. By the last player, please. Number seven. By the last player. Thank you. Follow. Yeah, we're good. That's fine. Yeah. How? Good lady. Oh, go one. Manorewa with the ball. Keep going. This is a peppy little run. Take Move now. Make me here. Oh, go two. Oh, yeah. Zora <laughs> Arakura says, Cassie Ormsby, you're in oh, my way. You look like a road cone. No, thanks. Don't I don't like road cones. Go, go. None of us like road cones. Good contact. Get it, get it. Oh. This is just textbook to do. <laughs> For you, she does this against every team she comes up, up against. It's good to see she hasn't lost her spark. Marlins, here they come. 
Little step from Rax Anderson. Left side, never on. Yeah, no, never, never on. London, yeah. We got player down. Let me check on here. Okay? Player down, breathing heavily. Let's see Take if we can time. see what Next happened here. Up, okay? Ooh, who's that? Be, yeah. So it's Cassie Ormsby. Yeah, you, yeah. road cone. <laughs> <laughs> Felt the heat from Toru Arakua. Nineteen and a bit minutes to play in this week seven match of the women's premiership in the Auckland Rugby League. Howard lead four nil over Manu Rewa. Manu Rewa, the defending champions of this competition. One of the biggest clubs going around, too, in the country, Manorewa. There she is, Toru Arukua. Having a ball. Watch yeah. this. Watch this. Oh, yeah. That's why we love rugby league. That is why we love rugby league. Mind you, you know. <laughs> size difference didn't help. Come on. <laughs> She's a little wee thing, old uh, Cassie Ormsby. Give me time, give me time. Toto, just a strong front rower. What do you expect? To be fair, I think she could do that to anybody. <laughs> Can't take away from Toto's power. <laughs> Lily Fulke, three out. Marlon's pushing the line through Benia Repe, who's been busy in this first half, inching towards the Hornets line. Jodasefi Josephs. She finds Stowers. Stiles comes back to Rex Anderson, straight in the hands of Sam Curtis. She'll want to stay in, but she can't. I think it's just a little bit of footy IQ there from Sam, uh, having that understanding that once you've caught the ball, just run. And she went to go in between the two players rather than just dropping. Uh, that's something that she'll pick up soon enough. So more ball for Mano Rewa. Jodice Josephs. Find Stowers. That's good. Stowers stopped Check about it, eight it, out it. from the Howard line. On, they lady. need to be on the board. On. Time's running out in this first half. They'll want to get points on the board. They shift it left. That's Tangaloa. Nice sweet ball to Michaela Ele. And that was easy peasy. It was. They made that look nice and easy. They'll be happy that they've gotten on the board. Well, they've been working their way into this. You know, you get the extra set, that's fine. But they've, they've had to work to make this happen. And they've done some really fine things out in the field. And unforced series, you can't do it. But look at that, just a lovely ball from Molly Tangaloa, straight bang. Yeah, we saw Leo Futumuala there just hold off a little bit, unsure if her six was coming across, if Charlotte Davis was coming across to be able to make that tackle. As you see, just biting in there on the tackle and not really trusting that inside. You can't leave someone like Kayla on that outside free to run. She'll be crossing every day. Every time we talk about defence and the NRL and the NRLW and why things happen, it's always about the trust of your partner, particularly you know, on the outsides, yeah? Yeah. Especially when you've got just man or woman on woman defence, I yep. should say. Uh, you have to trust them. You have to get off that line fast. Ellie, can she convert her own try? No, she can't. So we're all locked up for all. Yeah, this game's been a really interesting to, one to watch. Uh, both teams have come out a little bit clunky for probably their own preference as well, their own standards. Uh, it's good to see that uh, Manu Dewa are starting to kind of find their flow with strong carries from players like Toru. You, you know who... How are missing, and it's noticeable because Manu Rewa have uh, picked up Toru. They're missing Howak Tufito Lafayette. Because if you put those two opposing each other, then we might, you know, th then you've got a real battle going on. But you can sense that Howak are missing Tufito. Mm, yeah. I think Howak are also just, their, their timing with their plays are a bit off. Uh, as you saw in the first part where. Uh, they got a penalty for running behind a player. Just silly things like that that I haven't actually seen from Howick before. 
On your own. Sapphire Abraham to restart. Good. And this is the one thing we talked about, you and I, the last time we, we worked together. The short kickoffs, they need to work on gaining. Lock, lock, lock. Elena Onesi on debut no, and yeah. loses the ball no, with her first no carry. That's fine. Dumb, you called it. Dumb. Your responsibility is to hold the ball. Dumb. I did see a little stripping motion there. Uh, I am a big believer, though, when it comes to holding on to that ball, you still have to take control. You can't just let someone slightly rip it out. Yeah, because you've been giving it to the refs all night. Yeah. You've got to take them out of the game. You've got to make sure that <laughs> if you can hold on, you can hold on. Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> Howick with the ball. Cassie Ormsby is feeling better after being run over by Toto Arakura. That's a good sign. Salimari Puyer. Great carry. Tofei Ono still going. Will get the ball away. Will find Sarah Borden and she scores. Good play by Howick. But give that try to Salimari Puyer Tofei Ono because that's where the play came from. A massive run there. We just finished giving Toru props. This run here is equally just as good. Silla Marie Boe Tofaiono. Throws a bit of shoulder that you'd love that. And then look at the little part. Look at the, just the deft touch there. And Sarah Baldwin waiting for it. Thank you very much. <laughs> what any good hooker would do. This is the style that I was wanting to watch. This is what I really love about women's rugby league here in New Zealand. We've got big, strong, powerful runners and cheeky little ones that want to score all the tries. You would love that, eh? I just keep thinking, you just throw the shoulder. Throw the shoulder. Silla <laughs> Marie, it's Charlotte here. Throw the shoulder. Sure enough, she throws the shoulder. And another score, third try in two games for Zaid Sarah Baldwin who was player of the match last week against Mount Albert. So it's 8-4, kick to come. Sapphire Abraham, a little closer this time. Missed the first one, the try that was scored by Sam Curtis. About 15 out. And it's a sweet one, finally, for Sapphire Abraham. And she extends the lead by two. It's now 10-4. Howick lead Manurewa. This week seven match and Wednesday Night League live from North Harbour Stadium on Sky Sports League. Channel 50 on Sky and also the Auckland Rugby League YouTube channel. Wherever you are watching around the world, we trust you are enjoying this. Have another look. Silla Marie Poe Tofai Ono with the carry. It's a good carry too. Drops the shoulder and Rita Lee Harrison Stevens feels the heat. But this is the good part. Just the, the awareness to know someone's there and pop the, the little left arm out. Skill level. Very strong skill level. Wants more. She wants more. Daniel! Oh, that one. Wendy Saviette. Check time! Off the ball! Oh. Come on, ref, my boot's off. Woodman. Davis. Davis running. Still running. Stand Solid up, tackle Brennan. there from oh. Kayla. Over. Ah, lost ball. Oh. There's been a bit of that tonight. There's been a bit of that tonight, and maybe we're, we're not reading it. There could be a lot of moisture because it, as winter comes in, it gets colder, things start to get a lot slipperier like that. But again, good tackling, good D. It was really good D. Let's go, ladies. Let's go, please. It's in. Heads in. AT, you get your head in. No. I hadn't told, I hadn't asked him to feed you yet. Find up, ladies. Ref's having a good time. That's the most important thing. 
Again, ball in. Great time. Yeah. Oh, the huge gap there. Jodice Joseph saw it. Three, Didn't have the gas now. to get through it because there was a hole oh, that you could drive bulldozers through. Kaelin Nikitula will play the oh. ball. Don't Ten up from halfway. Rex Anderson. Finds Lele Fuki. Oh. Anderson still goes to the right. This is Rita Lee, Harrison Stevens. Move now with me, Howard. Hold. Fuki. Ah! Moving Move closer me. towards the Howard line. Fifth and last. Can Manurewa conjure something up? Tunga Loa with a little kick through. Six Not the more. greatest kick Play through. Played it. Played it. Oh. Here they come. No one. Sowers. This is Onesi on debut. Will she twist? Will she twist? No. Good stop by line. Howick. Oh. Repia. Repia still moving. Repia still going. Can she get Hands out of that? Josephs. Off the play on, Ball goes back. Oh, and then knocked on by Tangaloa. Come here, lady. Come here. Anderson just ricochets back off her feet and just there. You know, you got the mark over there where you are, lady. Under nine minutes to play in the first you're, half. Howick lead 10 4, week okay. 7 of the Auckland Rugby League Women's Premiership. Howick sitting up, in ladies. seventh position. Manu Rewa in sixth. I would have loved to have seen Manu Rewa just play a bit more direct oh. early on in that set, having the six again, uh, rather than trying to spin it, spin it wide on the second. My apologies to Howick uh, sitting in second position. Lost. Now it's just getting a little bit messy, but Manu Rewa are happy. No. Our corners with a 3 1 and 1 record. They've had their, both teams have had their bye. The women had to play at the weekend, the men had the bye. Good old Rusty Martua. Been around the game a long, long time. Knows his footy. Come on, ladies. Let's go. Referee urging the women to get on with it. Find up. Let's go. So Mano Rewa will start their set Again. 10 out from the Howick line. Oh. Josephs goes left. There's a bit of a slug of a pass. You have lost it into the Howick player. <laughs> You've lost it. It's trapped between your leg and the Howick. That's lost forward off you. So That's another the mistake on the first it. tackle. Come. Howick Ball. I think both teams just need to settle down here and complete their sets. Uh, just trying to push the pass, going into contact, not really holding and securing that ball. All things that coaches will be making sure that come next training, they'll be hammering on about. Elena Onesi, short stint on debut. Baldwin goes out the short side. Goes for a scamper. Hands tries off, to catch out. them off guard. Over. Moving forward. Hey, good hey, carry. We've got big numbers out to the left, Howick. Woodman comes back inside. And that's Toy Fayano. Another big carry from Silla Marie. Woodman. That's, good. That's a great ball. You know who that is? That's Sapphire Abraham. Steps and still goes. Hey, quickly! Big carry from Sapphire Abraham. And Number she gets six. the penalty. Number six. Ten. Number six. Ten. Number six, Rex Anderson. Foul. Bin. Professional foul. Take a look at this. Call it for me. She's got a nice 
play here. Good draw and pass to Seth Wyatt Abraham. Oh, I just wish he had just looked on it outside to Sam Curtis. As you can see here, we're on. Got Rex there. Just an extra extra shove there. On your tap. Go. So Mano Rewa down a player. Can Howard oh! take advantage of it? Hey, off the ball. Go on. Woodman. Cut out ball, finds Davis. Davis holding. Saw the gap close. For Tumawala. She looks up, has a run. Three required. Inching towards the line. Baldwin looks up, almost didn't see what was going on. Will she spin and get another? Defense is up to it. Jason Joseph's involved there. For Tumawala. Comes back. Big hiff. And Masters puts one through. What's the chase like now? Can they trap Manorewa in? No, they're not going to do it. Manorewa. How about that, though? Barbara Ova gave it a good nudge. And Rex Anderson not happy. On the bench. Teams down to 12. And Toru Arakura gets a second stint now. Play on his cord. Amaria to Eriga with the carry. With me here. Hold. Hold. Slow play of the ball. Looks at the ref. Says, come on, ref. Kayla Ikatule. Kayla Ikatule. Josephs. She finds Stowers. Stowers with a strong carry. Plays it on halfway. Quick play of the ball now. Joseph looks up. A little hesitant. A little Skip from Mori Tamaloa. Five and last from Manorewa. The kick goes up, but is it going to be effective anyway? It's depend on the bounce. And Jess Marnie picks it up. Move now! Make me here, Rewa. Hold, go on. Wendy! Cassie Ormsby. Back into traffic. Off the leg. It's all slowed down a little bit, hasn't it? Hold it has slowed it. down. Sam Curtis, try scorer. First try scorer of the game. Oh, Thrown to the man. deck by Amaria Teeringa. Woodman. Busy as always. Sapphire Abraham. Big left foot step. Ooh, oh, wanted to just get man. that one under the left one under, but unable to. Right. Here's Silla Marie. Silla Marie again. Come with me. Gets the ball away. Finds Abraham. Finds Curtis. And Curtis will go all the way. We saw her in the play before when Sapphire Abraham made a break that she didn't look left out to Sam Curtis. She wasn't going to make that mistake again and made sure to find her extremely fast winger. And who do we have props to this time? It is the prop. <laughs> Poetufoyano, look at that run. And then the little ball for Sapphire Abraham. And just sweetness all over. It was. It was a beautiful play there from all three players. Just the, the awareness to know where each other are running. Great mismatch there, as you can see. You've got uh, a prop on a centre. You've got a centre tying up the fullback. And you've got the winger just free all money. Sam Curtis gets try number two for herself and helps stretch the lead. Kick to come. It's 14-4. The Howard Hornets sitting second on the ladder. Marlins six. And remembering, of course, the Marlins are without a player. Rax Anderson for 10 minutes for the professional foul. So that's going to hurt them. And there's a lot of sorry-looking faces there. They've had their opportunities. That's the thing. They have. They just haven't capitalised on them. They've had repeated sets down in their, in their goal line. They just really need to make sure that when they're down there, they execute. Sapphire Abraham was successful with her last conversion. She's running at 50%. So sweet strike. Is it going to come around? Oh, no. Didn't have enough juice on it, but that doesn't matter because the lead is now 10 points. And the Howard Corners lead 14-4.
have another look at this try because it's a really lovely team try. Silla Marie, Poe Tufai Ono. And then just he went, pops that little ball off the left, and Sam Curtis waiting, almost overran it, but, but had the awareness to ho just to take, hold off. take the foot off the gas a bit and then put the pedal to the metal. And that's a double for Sam Curtis this evening. Taylor's definitely going to love it. <laughs> I wasn't going to mention anything. <laughs> you can rub it in again, all right? Identical twin sisters. Well, that's, that is... Wow. I've never actually seen identical twin sisters before, but I, I had to look twice at the photo to go, and the team was going, is that Taylor or is that Sam? But it's it said Sam Curtis, and then someone said, oh, twin sisters, okay, identical. <laughs> oh, it makes sense. Sort of makes sense, yeah. No early gravy. 14-4, Hawakli Manurewa. The Marlins with the restart, courtesy of Moli Tangaloa. Oh, now that's got... Knock on. <laughs> That's a knock on. You know, I, can I be honest with you? Knock yeah, on. be honest. <laughs> so I struggle when the ball goes backwards and it's called a knock on. Just watch. Now, if you think I'm a lunatic, that's fine. But where has the ball gone forward? That's something for half time to discuss. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to text anywhere you want. <laughs> Call the ARL and they can have a chat about it as well. But we are no, at half no, time no, now in week no, seven no, of the Auckland Rugby League Women's Premiership. And it's Howick with the lead by 10. They lead 14 4. Welcome to Dayton Projects where we make your interior fit outs easy. From start to finish we bring a wealth of experience to every project and we love what we do so please come and meet the team. Hi, we're the project management team. Our responsibility is to ensure a smooth running project from start to finish. By having a clear understanding of our clients' expectations, we aim to do this by delivering a stress-free quality fit-out on time. I'm saying I'm a quantity surveyor here. My role is to understand your needs and tailor my pricing to suit your budget. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm one of the detailers here at Datum Projects. My role is to take the client's architectural drawings and convert them into shop drawings for our factory. Hi, my name's T. I'm the Health and Safety Manager for Datum Projects, and one of our core principles here is work safe to get you home safe. Center League brought to you by the Auckland Rugby League live from North Harbour Stadium on Sky Sports Select Channel 50 and the Auckland Rugby League's YouTube channel. Stephen McIver and Charlotte Scanlon as they crunch the numbers from the first 40. Not too much when it comes to the position rate, but just the completions, and that says lots about just unforced errors. The Mano Rewa Marlins completion rate well done, mind you, at 50%. I'm sure the Hornets coach would want a lot more out of them. Three line breaks and three tries to one in favour of the Howard Hornets. And two of those tries coming to Sam Curtis. The first try came off the back of a it looked a set play from the Manorewa Marlins and she was just on hand. Yeah, you can see they're running a double back door there. Uh, great pressure there from Sam Curtis to actually force that error, make the read and then to readjust to grab the ball. 
so this is just a closer look at it to see the awareness and what was going on the play looked like it was you know solid but again little errors and that one going behind i think it was molly tangaloa the fullback and sam curtis on hand and that was the first try for her Second one, as we know, it was only just before halftime, but it was a cracking try because uh, Silla Marie Torfoyano has been having a monster of a game. And her awareness to see Sapphire Abraham, and let's just watch closely. Ball comes out from Woodman, and Silla Marie just says, right, here we go again, tucks the ball under the left, and then sees Sapphire Abraham there. And Curtis almost ran over the ball and just hung back and was there and good to go again. And just actually watching this, I realised that all three of those players are all rugby union converts. Celia is still playing and is contracted for the Black Ferns at the moment. Uh, Sam has just come back from the Reds. Saf has been with the Hurricanes and the Blues in previous seasons, but it's actually awesome to see they've come to the good side. That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> That's all I wanted you want to say at the end of that. They've come to the good side. But this, this, was, a, this was a lovely play. Yeah, they look like they've made for it. A beautiful skill set they've got there. All three of them linking well. Uh, and just great awareness of where the defense is. Sam Curtis with the double and Howick leading by 10, 14-4. The other try scored by Zaid Sarah Borden, who was on hand after another good Silimary, uh run. And, and that was the, the way it rolls, 14-4. The Hornets lead the Marlins at halftime in our Week 7 showdown of Wednesday night league. We love our footy on a Wednesday night. It'll be a couple of weeks before we get back to Mount Smart number two, but right now the lights are on. We are home, and we trust you are home as well. I believe Jazz Tavanga is uh, watching the uh, Warrior, who's a little bit injured right now, and loving the footy. Uh, Papakura, he saw his old club winning. He uh, is. He was watching the game. Very, very happy with his old team. Yeah, well, he should be. 25-16 over the Howard Court men's. Now, look, the exciting part is College Rugby League kicks off this weekend, for, or this week, should I say. Four schools throughout Tamaki Mikado, four grades this year. So we thought we'd just remind you about the grand finals, which saw St. Paul's, Auckland Girls Grammar, and Westlake win the ARL comps last year. Wednesday Night League live from North Harbour Stadium and halftime in our Week 7 Women's Premiership matches the Howard Hornets leading 14-4 over the defending champions, the Manu Rewa Marlins. Stephen McIver, Charlotte Scanlon, 
making all the noise up top. I heard a lovely story today about the work you do with your community foundation for the Warriors and, and a program you take into intermediate schools for, for young women. Can you just tell me a little bit about that and just what, what the program involves? Absolutely. So the program's called Tupu Maya and we've actually got our festival day at Mount or Go Media Stadium. Uh, Tomorrow, we focus on Te Whare Tapafa, getting the confidence of these girls up to go into their high school space and just absolutely kill it. Wow. Okay. When, when you talk about confidence, is it, is it about being aware socially of what's going on around them and that whole social media spectrum and ignoring a lot of that stuff? Yeah, we, we talk about not only our physical health by going through rugby league drills, but we actually go and really go in depth with how they feel, what they should be putting out on social media, who are their close friends, and how do they nurture those relationships. So, but there are physical school sets as well, school sessions as well. Absolutely, and their favourite is wrestle. <laughs> wow. Well, Kai Kara France is certainly helping the Warrior Big Boys, are they, with the, with the wrestle? <laughs> He's doing amazing things with our Warrior Boys. Is that, have you sort of been, been in there and had a crack? Uh, no. <laughs> You know, they'll try, try the ring, you know, they'll wrestle, they'll MMA wrestle. Yeah, I would love to get down there and have a crack, but I'm pretty sure I would get annihilated from some of those boys. I think you should go and have a crack. Show the boys how it's done, Charlotte. <laughs> Team's coming back out onto North Harbour Stadium for the second 40. And the Howell Cornets are in a good mood. They're leading by 10, but if you remember the last time uh, they were out here, they got beaten at the punch by Otara at the death. It was an absolute cracking match, and it was a hard one for them to stomach, but they got beaten right at the pump. So something to look forward to is this second 40. There's Sam Curtis, double try scorer in the first half for the Howick Hornets. And Howick will run from left to right as you see it, and Mano Rewa will get first use of the ball. There certainly have been some standouts. The standouts are both the number eights. Second to 40 underway, and it's a short it's kick and picked up go. straight away by Sam oh, Curtis. Can't on, beat off. speed. Go. How about that for a kick? I game? love that. And there was a moment there. I actually thought she was going to try and put the ball backwards like you're doing right for oh, Union. Oh, I'm glad okay. she caught herself. <laughs> Chantel Woodman. Instantly they go wide, the Howard Hornets. This is Rebecca Taua. Steps up the right, still go. Oh, one on one strip, and guess who? It's Toto Arakua. Just like that. She was saying, This is our kickoff, give me the ball back, please. <laughs> and loving it too, and loving it, the smile on her face. <laughs> Looked back up at Toa and said, Yeah, what? Jodice Josephs, little short ball for Benny Repia. Help! Repia's been busy Release! all match. Stowers looks back and finds a little four here. Take me, lady. No. Rex Anders is still in the bin. <laughs> this is Repia again. Keep going, Gets keep the going. ball away. That's Michaela Ellie. Oh, loose, loose ball. Oh, touch. Six again. Tangaloa plays the ball. They're a little bit casual, Manorewa, at the moment. Strong run by Amaria Teeringa. Joseph Joseph is looking left and right. They're split. They're going right. There are gaps. Defense is not really coming up at them. They're allowing them to come into their territory. Inside the 10 now. Toru, still going, finds Idaho Stowers. She will find Mary Jane Finau. And Manorewa, from the kickoff, just about get a four-pointer. They're back in the hunt early. I think you nailed it on the head before, where Halbert are just holding off in the tackle. We've got Manorewa here, who... Toru was the only one running up with the ball here. She doesn't really have any genuine push support either side of her. But the defence holding off allows her to get that offload. They're, not, they're compressed and they're just leaving a two-on-one on the outside. So that'll make Rex Anderson feel a little bit better. And Mary Jane Finau gets the four-pointer mm -hmm. for Manurewa. So it's 14-8 now. Kick to come in where we need a tee, please. Actually, a warm... Oh. 
a hot tea would be great right now. A hot actually, tea would be great. Actually, I can see some behind me. Can you make me a coffee, please? That'd be nice. White and one, thanks. And a big shout out to Kat Waterkuhu who is watching at home. Uh, she is a Kiwi fern, an ex Manurewa player who is just injured at the moment, and no doubt she'll be back in no time, just like Toru being just as damaging. She must be lovely, loving watching how Toto is playing. <laughs> she will be. They're pretty close. Well, your phone's been beeping left, right, and centre, so. <laughs> it's, it's Just all wanting shout outs. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really good to see uh, how many players, especially at that top level, are watching grassroots footy. It shows you how big the culture here is in New Zealand with how much they love and represent their clubs. Well, the footy's good, and that's the other thing. The footy is good to watch, and the skill level is something that, that we're getting used to being better with, with the greater exposure of women's footy being shown. Look at that. Toto. Oh, and they're just they're those little things like that. And then Mary Jane Fina going, hey, open door, I'll take that. She makes it look so easy, but trust me, that takes years of experience and a whole lot of confidence. No ask, worries, lady. Ask for a coffee, get a warm one. <laughs> Hamish from the ARL does such a magnificent job helping us. Hamish Sanderson. Time you're on, on you kick out. And I did actually ask him for a coffee and he delivered me a coffee, so we'll leave it at that. Thanks, Hamish. Restart. Here we go. safely with the ball this time. Move now, hey! Make me here, lady. Go on. It's a little bit of momentum now. Benny Rippia. I like there, watching this, this woman play. She just there. straight, straight, straight. Get it does the job. Nothing flash. Just gets in there. Hands Hands up, up. Rex Hands Anderson up. Up. back on now. There's Hold. Crystal. Go through one marker. Coaching. That'll be the next step. You know that. Here's Toru. <laughs> you going. Off yeah, does it again. Bumps off one, gets the ball away, and Manurewa have got a momentum going now. Move! Together! Here we are. Go for it. Joseph's. Little short ball for Crystal Stars. Hitting off the ball, please! Yes! Joseph's. Yes! Nice step by Rex Anderson. Steps again, okay. throws a loose ball, though. Loose ball, and guess who's on it? Sapphire Abrahams. Two! Movement. Yeah, it was a bit of an unnecessary pass there from Rex. Ooh. Bit of confusion there around the play of the ball. <laughs> Got to be there. <laughs> Six. Hand off. Rebecca Toa plays the ball on halfway. Baldwin. 19 off the ball. Oh, that's four. Jodice Joseph's up on that. Strong defensive effort there. Lost in contact. Come here. We just see Come there up, the baby. long Come pass that was unnecessary, but we Lost carry on. on Go to play the ball. <sighs> Got to be able to get rid of it faster there. Heads up. Ball in the... Out! Yeah. Oh, 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 make me! I'd love oh. to see Chantelle Woodman actually carry a little bit more in this game. Oh. She's been a really great distributor, but I know that she's got a nice cheeky run about her. Six! Move, move. But everything goes through her. Right, you know that, that, that everything moves through Chantal. She's she's the playmaker out of thirteen. Now she's a lot of work, and maybe you're right. Just get change change the game, change it up. No, 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 try scorer. Mary Jane Fiona. Hands off, nineteen. Make the line. Go for. Stowers. Long ball out to Toru. Here comes Toru. Finds the gap. Still going. Can they stop her? Still moving. Gets the ball away to Stowers. What a run. What a try for Manorewa. Well, I think Toru's Achilles is fine. <laughs> if anyone at home was wondering. Oh. 
Captain, please. You have a talk to the team. One of your girls, I didn't get a number, but stuck a leg out on that. It was a foot trip. Okay. That's very, very dangerous, okay? During the tackle? Yeah, during that last day. No, no, it was during that break. She was a defender. Just oh, address with the team. Yeah, so watch out for that, please. If I get a number next time, we'll deal with it, okay? So that's serious. So just a warning on a, on a trip. Yeah, someone stuck their leg out, which is a dangerous act. It's all a bit exciting because of the try, and then that sort of blows, blows up. Let's look at this run by Toru Arakua. Look at the run. Just. Everybody's just oh. watching. Yeah. Little Futumuala. Watch it again. So, Mary Jane Fina, who scored a try. So, let's just have a look what happened. So, Toru with the ball. Keep your eye. Okay. It's coming up. Just there. there. Yeah, uh, Futumawala on. Toru. Lucky that she wasn't seen. The number wasn't caught there. Yes, but we've just gone and broadcast it. <laughs> Tangalo misses the conversion. Could have leveled the game up. Two conversions missed. It's now 14-12. How just with their nose in front. Just two Kiwi ferns linking up in a game of footy. <laughs> you don't see that every day. But but that's what I love about this. That the fact that our internationals are willing to come and play club footy. That's Absolutely. the most important part of all of this. That internationals who are who are young hero, heroes for the next generation of players can be seen at this level. And you come out here with mum and dad on a Wednesday night, Time watch some footy, and see your heroes play. It's huge. 14-12, Howick lead. Week 7 of the Women's Premiership. But Manurawa, the defending champions, are on the charge. Scored the last two tries. One to Mary Jane Finau, the other to Crystal Stiles. Still a lot of time to play in this. Under 30 to play. Feels like they've been going a lot longer than... You know, 11, 10, 11 minutes in the second half. Yeah, the first half went really quickly. And then this half, I don't know if it's just been very exciting. <laughs> Seemed to have, uh, the time has slowed down a little bit. Here we are, Howard. Come, here we go. Lele Fulke That's with good. a carry. Nice carry oh, too. Ran now. over the here top of Chantel Woodman. Here's Binny Repia oh! doing what she does well. Willing. Wanting to play the ball, Joseph. not getting the quick play. Willing. Joseph's fine style as the try scorer. Little step, almost spots the gap and gets through it. Willing. Well wrapped up. Thank you. Go Go Jasmine it. Walker in the 18 jersey. Anderson, Anderson busy now. Fulke. Anderson coming back, it's just out of dimension. Me. She's running a lot more now. Joseph's. Tangaloa kicks. On. What's the chase like? There is space here. That's Not gone dead. dead. That's Man gone dead. Go there. But that was a better Man kick chase from Manurewa. Best we've seen so Pass. far. It was the best we've seen so far. And it was a beautifully weighted Man kick there. Close, but on the line. So... Howick ball. No, it's it. no, no, it's gone backwards. Yeah, over there. Hey, the plays the ball. Board and waiting. Zero. Sam Curtis now getting involved. Check off the ball. Hold. Worked over by Rex Anderson. Woodman waiting. And sorry, let's Platinum Masters. My apologies. Jess Marnie has been in the battles all oh, night. Go Ball goes behind, but nicely picked up by Lisa Poetufayono. Masters, watch out. Oh, that wasn't meant. Play on's called. Everybody's sitting around going, what's going on? Not playing to the whistle. 
Zero, were you ever told as a, as a young Paul girl, play to the whistle? Was that always play to the whistle? Always. Always. Toru again. Just flicks one out the back casually. Amoria to Erringer, needing three to get it to the deck. Stowers, Idaho. Mary Jane Finau. Three! Stowers steps off the right, left. Walks straight into oh, Woodman. Anderson, full of running. Toru. Jodice Jones, quick ball out to the left. Oh, they had numbers. This is Mikaela Ele. It's the ball away. Still alive. Tangaloa right. looking wide. Here they come. Still going. Ford pass called. Just when you think. Come here, lady. Watch again. Come here. Ford pass. Ford pass called. Howick ball. Come to me, lady. Opportunity missed. Massive opportunity missed. I think there were numbers on both sides of the field at different times within that little play there there was one on the left that they didn't take there was one on the right that they didn't take I think they'll watch this back and be really disappointed that they didn't quite execute it there how very lucky that they now have the ball you could flip a coin on this match which as to which way it's going to go by the end of the 80 minutes. Strong defense by Manorewa. Tufayono. Off the ball. Let me hear. Hold. Go Woodman. Ah, starting to run a little bit. Been listening to you. <laughs> I'm mic'd up down there. <laughs> Savietti with a quick play. Baldwin's in there. Really good play. And she spotted the gap. Can she move it? Can she go all the way to the line? Look at the chase. Crunched. Smart wanting to play fast there. Peaches Peters does the job. They go left. Charlotte Davis on her own. No, she won't need it. It will be Sapphire Abraham for Howard. We've got Crystal Sowers down in the back. Looks like she knocked her knee when she went into one of those tackles. Crystal Stars there, you can see her in the headgear here. Oh, she's taken one on the side of the right knee. Mm. It's gone at an awkward angle, but the run by Zaid Sarah Baldwin here set it all up. Peaches Peters got up, but in the end. Here we go. Look at that. Crunched. Very it's... smart of her identifying no markers there. Wide A defenders. And then here just having the patience to try and play fast, but not losing the ball as we as we have yeah, seen okay. previously. Charlotte Davis could have gone her own, to she be definitely fair. Could have. But that was a good teammate. And Abraham, another four-pointer. Just her tally for the season keeps going up and up. Great bumpers there from Sapphire Abraham to make sure that she did find the line. Yeah. Now she'll want to add the extra two here. Mm. She hasn't hit one tonight, though. That's not a good sign because no. Crystal Sowers has been really strong going forward for the Manorewa Marlins tonight. Abraham started this game with 48 points for the season. 52. Can she make it 54 points for the season? Away. Oh, she's not going to be happy with that one. No extras added. Most, most importantly, they are now a full converted try ahead of the Manurewa Marlins. It's 18-12. The Hornets lead the Marlins. Week 7 of the Auckland Rugby League Women's Premiership.
not a bad substitute. I think it was Carly Takawa that came on just then. Uh, Ex-Kiwi Fern herself. Carly Takawa coming on the 17 jersey from Manorewa. Dr. Rota on the sideline. <laughs> She'll be saying, look, if you got anything, no if you get a body in there, maybe I could talk to you about the body <laughs> I had in my knee. At least she knows she's got a ride home. On your own, on your kick up. <laughs> We're good. Yep. Right. Good pick up by Charlotte Davis. In the and there's Lisa Poe Tufoyan. Get her up. Oh, the tidy oh, carry. Okay. You're early 19. Thank you. Stand now. Oh, go to. Good contact. Stand now, no. Oh, got a good stop go there. Woodman, back inside for Ovar. Stand now. Oh, go for it. Stand now. Masters shovels it out to Sam Abraham. Sam Curtis has spotted the gap. Oh, she's going to go. I thought she might actually go around, but she's been well stopped by Molly Tamaloa. Fifth and last for Howick. Silla Marie. Can she produce some magic? Can she get that ball away? Well, she can. Pumped on. Davis, they're still alive, Howick. Still alive. Mele Fotomawala, does she get it down? No, she doesn't. <laughs> Good save. Hold up. Great okay, save by Manorewa. That was a massive play there to be able to hold the ball up. I think there was a bit of miscommunication to start off with. That that was the last. Chantal Woodman done really well to be able to pop that ball off. So it's Molly Tangaloa that's come across the fullback and held her up. Just what a coach wants to see from his fullback. Yeah, just that effort area to really try and stop the play. There's a lot more running about Howick now. Yeah, they're, they're doing. They're playing smart footy, just trying to move Manurewa around, who are probably not quite as quick as Howick are across the board. Anderson. Anderson's made a difference since she's come back from being in the bin, though. She'll play the ball, turn up from halfway. Josephs finds Fulke. Hit hard by no! Wendy Saviente. Release! Hold! Go last. Anderson with the kick. Doesn't get too much difference on it, but it'll bounce, go. and that's always the danger. It'll bounce. Knock on. And knock on, on by Manurewa. From the lady with yes. the long hair to the lady on the inside. Jess Marnie didn't want a knock bar on. of that, did she? Play no, she didn't. <laughs> Play the ball, yeah. Let it bounce, that's fine, but it was here. You've got to attack the ball. You can't let it bounce. You can't let it... Um, you can't Go. wait for it to come to you. Not when you've got a good kick chase like Manurewa did. Ooh. Go, penalty. Thank you, Miss. Howard, yeah. I think there was a bit of back chat. He doesn't muck around, does he, the ref? Just gets stuck in. So Howick with the ball and another chance to potentially extend their lead. They'll start the set just inside yes. the Manorewa half. Let's go. Go. This is Ova, Barbara Ova, who has been solid all night. In many ways, just like Bini Repia from Manarewa. Both number 12, just doing their job. Woodman bounces off one. Unable to get away from Jodice Josephs. Swing around. Mele Fotumawala. Dragging in three Manorewa players. Big numbers out to the left. Woodman. 
Masters. Silla Marie. Silla Marie still going. Can she get the ball free? They know if they don't do that, they're in trouble, but they don't. But they're inside the 10 now, Howick. Hornets on the run. Ball dropped by Masters. Ah! James Serra will be shaking his head. They had the numbers, they had the possession. Just the little things again. Come here. Yeah, you can see here, instead of kind of doing more of a swooping line, she ran a bit more direct, which get, gave the marker that opportunity to kind of get a hand on and knock that ball out. You need a bit more of an arcing run to kind of just run away from the marker and then straighten up from there. Happy days. Manure with the ball. Nice little short ball. That's a really nice ball. Even better run by Two, three, McKayla three, in there. Tungalo awaiting at dummy half. Here's Toru. Oh, it looks still. <laughs> she was trying to get the ball out. Just couldn't do it. Loving her footy. Keep going. Ball pops out. Manure was still alive. Looking for the offload. Kevin, Could be going to offload a thorn in the set. Toru. Telling where someone where to go. <laughs> telling a teammate where to go. <laughs> Just run that no, line, no, would you? No, run no, that no. line. Jocelyn oh, Munukoa. Yes. Toru again. Tangaloa. Good. Good. Idaho Stowers. She finds Kayla Ikutule. No! Great tackle from the Alpha Tomala just then. Fifth and last for Manorewa. They're only a converted try behind. Tungaloa. Ball goes up and picked up nicely by Sapphire Abram. Solid as a rock. Is it, I don't mind the kick option. It just needed to be executed a little bit better. They did have numbers on that right hand side again. You're a ball and hand sort of girl, right? Get it out, get it out, get it out. <laughs> You love the you running can, game. You love the running game. You can still kick from second receiver, third receiver. Yeah, but you like, well, oh, look at this. Celebrate oh, from Tufoyano, killing it this evening. Curtis That's wanting to get in there. Spins the ball out to Chantal Woman, who's looking around. Keep going, keep going. Masters, Sapphire Abraham. Well, she's not leaving Sam Curtis much room to move. Hands up, hands up, move. Now, if I was Sam Curtis, I'd be telling you to run. <laughs> and jog and pass me the ball. Woodman. This is Wendy Savayette. Just dragging players with it is Wendy. Is there a bald one? And the kick from Woodman. Now, what's the chase like? Ah, the kick's too long. Running. Oh, Might be some heavy legs out there at the moment. Definitely looks like it with 14 minutes to go. I think it's still anyone's game. This run by Silamri Poetofoyano. If I was going to give my player of the match, I think I'd really give it to Silamri tonight. I'm sorry, Sam Curtis, two tries, but the effort. Someone's down a back play. It's a Howard player. Team, release. Oh, yeah, yeah. Out the back. Go on. Toru. Toru through one, through two. Offload. Gets the offload. offload. Finds Michaela Ely. She finds Kaylin Ikutule. In comes oh, Sam Curtis right. flying light. Flying tackle. Gotta love it. Jodice Josephs. Michaela Ely. Short ball. Finds. Mary Jane Fino try score. Why don't you go on your own? Hands Just about. Two out from the line. Can Manurewa get this game back to level? Ball's been dropped. Professional foul. And 10. Professional foul within the 10 metre there. Another professional foul. Another, professional foul. Another mm. professional foul. So Woodman gone. And Howick down to 12. The plot thickens <laughs> with 12 and a bit to play. Because Chantel will be giving him lip and saying, oh, are you sure about this? Are you sure about this? She loves to have a conversation. 
I do think Kayla, though, on her run just then, should have backed her pace. She went in for the bumpers, and it didn't quite pull off. Look how, yeah, how compressed that defense is there on the screen. Yeah, let's, let's, be, let's be honest. If, you, if you've got a quick pass, you're going to be running right and onto the left-hand side of that Howard D because there's huge gaps, and Chantel Woman is not happy. Well, this is what it is. Here's hoping it doesn't cost them the game if those Howick fans are going to travel back a bit cranky. They go sure back inside for Toru. Toru, yes! Slides under. Another magic performance. So, okay, maybe it's the two number eights that get the, the joint player of the match because Toru's been amazing. Silla Marie's been amazing with that move there. Toru Arakua. Unstoppable. Unstoppable. Straight over the top of Wendy Savietti. Been in it all night. Most importantly, close to the posts for the conversion to potentially tie this one up. How entertaining is this? These girls are so strong, so powerful. It's about taking the opportunities. They've been taking the opportunities when they've appeared. They haven't created too many, but they've taken the most mm -hmm. when they've seen the opportunities. Absolutely. They've capitalized on the mistakes that Howick have done, even though Howick have only done a few. Tungaloa with the conversion, and we are all locked up at North Harbour Stadium. Rusty Mato, show some excitement, son. Coach of the Manurewa Marlins. Drop ball comes back inside and just bulldozes her way across. Toru Arukua, outstanding play. Howick really needed to rush to get to the 10 metre line there on defence to try and stop someone like Toru from just crashing over. But if you wait for her, she's always going to find that try line. Tungalo with the conversion. 18 all. Week 7 of the Auckland Rugby League Women's Premiership. Nail biter. And the thing is, they will be without Chantel Woodman for the majority of the rest of the half, Howick. Time you run! Oh, stand now! Get clear, marker! Go no on. Get him! Get him! Hold. Go to. 18 all. Manorewa on a run now. Ooh! Knock on. Four hey. pass. He's not How many defender. four passes have we seen tonight, Charlotte? Not getting to the defender. Come on. I'd love to see the replay of this because it does look like she just bobbles it herself um, and regathers that. That's all good. Here we are. But that's all right. Um, just, yeah. Those calls are always a bit tough. Under 10 minutes to play. They may get Chantel Woodman back with maybe two minutes tops. So now it's about hanging on for Howick or taking the initiative and playing with what you've got. They know they've got gas. You'd almost suggest start throwing Sam Curtis a bit more ball. Find some space, creating the, creating the space. We talked about them not running with intent just before, and I think that then led to the Manurewa try. So they need to stay in this game. They haven't won it. They need to keep playing to their strengths, which is moving this Manurewa team around. Don't make them make tackles, make them tired, move them left to right. And oh, knocked back. Oh, they get away with one. They get away with one. That's been, that's been called, knocked on before. That's gone back to the call by the referee. So how a dodge a bullet there. Tiana Kavir. Masters. 
running, spots the gap, gets the ball away. Ball's been touched by Manurewa. Well, they'll get a fresh set. This is Sefu Pio. Cassie Ormsby playing in the ball. Baldwin, they need her to start running. Running more. Here's Silla Marie. Puts the big right hand out. Silla Marie all the way. Yes! Hang on a minute. Try given. There was a suggestion she might have bobbled it on the way down, but had didn't lose possession. But what a run again from Silla Marie Poeto Foyano. Gosh, this is fun to watch. Look at the big right come out. One. I feel like doing it again. Two. Three. And try. Great individual effort there from Silla Mary. I think she heard us talking about Toru possibly getting player of the day and said, no, I want it again. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, happy to, I'm happy to share it between the two of them because they have been standouts. They have made a difference every time they've carried. Yeah. They've definitely set the platform for anything that's happening on either of those teams. Uh, Toru, with her offloading game, her carries, her direction, then you've got Silamiri who is just a menace with the ball in hand. They're actually both menaces. <laughs> and, they're, and they're menaces we are happy to watch any day of the week. 22-18, Howick. Leading Manurewa, kick to come. Conversion, not the flashes going around, so the door is still ajar. Platinum Masters kick just whizzing in front of the uprights. So you've got to remember too, this is a Howick team down to 12 women. Chantel Woman in the bin. For the difference. For the difference. Now this is about attitude. How you play. Do you train to play with 12? If you've got a good coach, you do. <laughs> You're good. Just watch this. Just watch the big right palm come out. One. Yeah, I'm not done yet. Two. Uh, one more, thanks. Three. <laughs> Try. That's what we love about the game of rugby league. Footy like that. Siana Kavir with a short carry. Under five minutes to play. Rebecca Toa. Now it's about ball control. Maybe Nothing no, silly no. for Howick. No, it's playing smart. It's completing your sets. Not doing unnecessary errors and then just kicking down into the corners and having a really good kick chase. It sounds simple, but you'll be surprised how many teams don't do it. <laughs> Cassie Ormsby, that's a good carry. She's trying to get more metres. Referee won't let her do that. Chantel Woodman. A little bit of a furrowed brow there. Here's Silla Marie again. Need to throw players at her. So they throw three Manorewa. Masters with the big left boot. Finds a bit of space. Here's the kick chase. Oh. Chase is good. Tungalaw is up for it though. Contact. Hi. Yeah, yeah, it was just going, yeah, just a penalty. High yeah, shot, like a high shot, it'd be blunt with you. Contact high. See, it's high contact. Let's look here. It's this, it's, oh yeah, fair play. Apologies to the referee, doing his job. Three and a half minutes to play. Four points the difference. Howick lead, Manorewa. 22-18. How it really need to speed their line, line up on defense to not let these big ball runners, like you see Tori right there, be able to dictate. Offload. Offload. They've got numbers now, and Manurewa on the run. Ball comes out. And knocked on just like you think. Try saver. Rusty Martu's heart rate must be up and down like a yo yo. 
coach for the Manurewa Marlins. You see, it'll be experienced players like Toru here that will probably have a greater vision of what's happening defensively and find the holes. And understanding where they are within the game, there's tired defense. If you can shift it with an offload, how hard that is to defend this late on in the game. She's still loving it. <laughs> She's been smiling all evening. Two minutes 20 and counting, week seven of the Women's Premiership of the Auckland Rugby League, live from North Harbour Stadium. Crystal Stars, not in good shape, limped off. This is uh, Mele Futumawala. Been just happy to carry tonight. Saviette. Wants the quick play, get the quick play. Toa. Tidy carry from Rebecca. Masters drops the ball back and Woodman's back on. So we were right. Two minutes of play. So they're back to a full complement, the Howard Hornicks. <laughs> now we're going to play the oh, get up slowly game and suck up some time. Baldwin, though, happy to keep running. Do you think they need to be careful here? Manudewa are a team that can create something out of nothing and score just like that. Five and last for Howick. What do they do? What are they going to do? Masters goes high. They're going to let this ball drop. That's come off Manurewa. Knock on, knock on, knock on Howick. That's my call. My call. So Sam Curtis must have touched, touched that ball going through. So less than a minute to play. Can Manurewa conjure up some magic? Hi. Well, they're getting plenty of help from the referee here. Another penalty. High shot. Kick for touch. So they'll play just on halfway. And 30 seconds to go. Is there some magic left in Wednesday Night League? Papakura have already upset Howick in the men's game earlier, 25-16. Can Manurewa do the same? Toru. They go out wide. This is Ikutelli. The ball's still alive. They're throwing it around. And they know they've got to throw it around. Ball comes out. That's been knocked forward. That'll be the game. And that is the game. Howick, hang on. And they win this week seven match. Having to come from behind too. But they get the job done. 22 points to 18. And for all those family of Dave Hughes who sadly passed away this week, a true supporter of the Howick Hornets, that'll put a smile on their faces. And the women get the win on a night when the Howick Hornets got to play on the same ground as the men for the first time in a long, 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 long time. It's been a big night for Howick. They get a 50% record, but they have played both teams entertaining football. What a match. Standouts have to be both number eights. Toro Arakua and Silamari Poe Tufai Ono just making a difference every time they had a carry. The skill level certainly up there. Final score here with interviews still to come. Howick 22, Manurewa 18.
Wednesday night league and handshakes all around after a tight encounter for the seventh round of the women's premiership that has people talking about already. I've just received a text from Sir Graham Lowe loving the footy, loving the local footy and how good has it been. Manurewa leading for a while. They had a slow start to the game, took the lead, but back came out with 12 players on the field too. And it was the try by Celery Poetu Fayono that got them home 22 points to 18. There's a lot of footy still to come this weekend. Don't forget next Wednesday evening on Wednesday Night League, the 6 o'clock game will be Monaco versus Richmond in the Fox Premiership. The game won tonight by Papakura 25-16 over Howard. And the women's game next Wednesday at 8 o'clock will be Otahuhu versus Mount Albert. So when we crunch the numbers, the Howard Hornets with less possession still got the job done. Their completion rate certainly helping that out. Four line breaks, won five tries to four, and a high quality match to say the least. They'll run to a four one and one record and keep themselves at the top of the near the top of the pile of this women's premiership. If you want to know more information about where your games are being played by your Auckland Rugby League teams, go on to the AucklandRugbyLeague.co.nz website. It's a great website. You can see uh, where people are playing, what time they're playing, and where, where they're all going. Now, as we said earlier to, tonight, two players have made a, that made a difference every time they touched the ball were the number eights. Toro Arakura for the Manurewa Marlins and Silamri Poe Tufai Ono. They are downstairs almost with Charlotte because I just want to hear how they thought that one unfolded. It's good to see you out there. How did you find it? Um really breathless <laughs> I need to find my lungs again <laughs> Fuck, I, oh, oh my god sorry nah I, I just felt like it was a good game to be back with my um with the Marlins and yeah a lot of running to do away eh, not the greatest <laughs> and for you you were absolutely damaging out there today how are you enjoying rugby league I'm enjoying it so much, um, especially because I got to play with my sister, Lisa Poeto Fayono. It was one of our first games um, together. It was our first game. It was just good to see the culture, especially with our team. Um, we're sort of still new, and it's just good that we're trying to bring the culture onto the field now. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Awesome win there. I have to ask, was there a play having her out there a bit further out on the fringes rather than in the middle? Yeah, it's always a good ploy to get the bigger girls out on the edges, running at the smaller girls. So, yeah, a bit of a ploy there. But um, Leah's damaging wherever she goes, so uh, another top game from her. Yeah. And you have to be proud of the girls' efforts after a sin bin there to be able to hold on into that game. Uh, how do you carry on throughout the season? Yeah, we, we've got a few players away, actually. So um, they'll, they'll be coming back in the next week or two. We've got a bit of a break now with the, the turnaround. So we'll get some numbers back and uh, regroup back to the drawing board and uh, get a bit more fitness under the belt. Uh, blind a bit there too. So, um, yeah, gives you a bit of a heart attack on the sideline. Cool, thank you. James Sarah, the coach of the victorious team, the Howard Hornets, 22 points to 18. A double to Sam Curtis in the first half for Howard and then a try to Sapphire Abraham in the second and then the, the clincher, the clincher, Scylla Marie Poeto Fayono getting that one where she just basically fended off three players with a big right hand and did the job. The final score here, 22 points to 18. Just a quick reminder, 
lots of league to come. If you want to check out where your Auckland Rugby League is going to be played this weekend, head to the Auckland Rugby League website, aucklandrugbyleague.co.nz, and it'll have the draws, the scores, the updates, news, and everything you need to know about the great game of rugby league, which Wednesday Night League is part of. They're still happy. They're still chattering. Uh, the Manorewa Marlins, they were, they were strong. Tries to Michaela Ellie, Mary Jane Finau, Crystal Stars, and Toru Arakua, who was outstanding, to say the least. Just a reminder, next Wednesday night, in Wednesday Night League, brought to you by the Auckland Rugby League, 6 o'clock on Sky Sport 4. It'll be Fox Premiership, Monaco versus Richmond, and then at 8 o'clock on Sky Sports Select, Channel 50, or Tahuhu versus Mount Albert. Smiles all around from a team that didn't get the W, but they love the great game of footy as we do. Until next time, take it easy.